This is Hard Knot Fort in the Western Lake District and I'm here today to get the final shot for my Lake District location guide. Let me take you through today's shot. Now, like most of my shots, it's premeditated. I know exactly what I'm going to be doing before I come on location. I'm actually inside the fort and I'm using one of the buildings as foreground interest. The view I'm looking up towards Hard Knot the Mountain and Hard Knot the Pass. And I'm at 16mm on the wide angle lens, making the most of that wide field of view. I am having to bracket for two stops either side because I'm shooting directly towards the rising sun so I've got a very very high dynamic range and that's about it so I'm just going to go ahead and take the shot looks okay So I hope you like that shot. That's the end of my location guide, the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Today is Easter Saturday, and for a change, the weather is absolutely gorgeous. And that means only one thing, the Lake District this weekend is going to be heaving. And so my plan for today is to get in, get my shot, and then get back out again before anyone even knows I was here. This week I finished writing my location guide to the Northern Lake District and Derwent Water, where I'm here today, features heavily in that. Of the six locations, three of them are on Derwent Water. But I realised that there was a shot that was still missing from my portfolio and that was the view of Skidore from Otterbield Bay. And so that's the shot that I've come for today. But on my way to Otterbield, I stopped at this little bay here and it's was perfectly still and clear and so I've just been getting a shot of that. Now my lens woes continue. Latest news is that the company that was trying to fix it has given up and they themselves have sent it to Canon. Anyway it still means that I'm without my 24 to 70 and once again I find myself wanting to shoot at around 50 millimeters and so what I'm doing unfortunately is shooting a pano which I will crop down to a standard ratio, 16 by 9 probably, using the Norman method that I shared a couple of weeks ago. build is this jetty at I think Brandle Howe and who doesn't love a jetty shot let's be honest now I was contemplating shooting the jetty from down on the beach sort of sideways on but the problem with that shot is that you lose the jetty in the mountains in the background 
And so I'm just going to go for the classic view straight down the jetty. Now what I want to do here is I want to try and include as much of the hills in the distance and the reflections of those hills as I possibly can. And I want to create a little bit of separation between the reflections and the end of the jetty. Now, in order to get the separation that I wanted between the end of the jetty and the reflections in the distance, I had to set the tripod up as high as it would go. Well, that's not actually strictly true. I couldn't extend the third leg section because the jetty isn't wide enough. So what I've done is I've pushed the center column right up. And that's okay on that Benray because it's such a sturdy tripod and there's no wind about. For this shot, what I've done is I've focused on the nearest pillar of the pier to the camera. And I have had to slip in a three stop soft edge grad because the sun is rising just behind the mountains that I'm photographing. So I've got a very bright sky and a very dark foreground. And that's helped a little bit, um, but it's still too much dynamic range for my camera to cope with. So unfortunately on this occasion, I have left no option but to bracket. So I have gone one stop either side and I'll blend those together in Lightroom. Now, something else I'm gonna to have to do in Lightroom, because I'm shooting with an extreme wide angle lens, I've got these verticals of these posts. And what that's doing is that's pushing them out so we get barrel distortion. Now Lightroom, I hope, will be able to correct that mostly but I may have to do a little bit of transformation as well, just so that that doesn't look a bit weird. So this is Otterbuild, and this is the view of Skidor that I've come to shoot today. Now I was last here with a friend of mine, uh, Tom, back in the autumn, and we were having to do log exposures because there was quite a bit of wind about. And unfortunately what that was doing, that was blurring the clouds, and because we had um, broken clouds, we could see the blue sky behind, and I don't like that kind of streaky look in my pictures. Uh, but today we don't have to worry about that because it's perfectly still, and there are no clouds in the sky whatsoever. And this is one location, this is one shot that I think benefits from a blue sky. The reflections on the lake are not perfectly still. And so I've slipped in the big stopper and I'm doing exposures of between 40 seconds and a minute. And that's just smoothing that out enough to get that absolutely perfect and because there's no clouds in the sky I'm not getting those nasty streaks that I personally don't like. As I've explained before most of my shots are pre-planned and pre-visualized and unfortunately today conditions aren't exactly what I was hoping for. It's very very hazy and so you cannot pick out any detail in skid ore which is intended to be the main subject. And so I think I'm going to have to come back when conditions are a little clearer. And I'm thinking that that's probably going to be at some point in the winter when we get those beautifully crisp, clear mornings. And so, unfortunately for me today, this hasn't quite worked out as I would have liked. Now there are a couple of other classic shots here at Otterbield. The first one you've got is Otterbield Island and the view back towards Keswick with Latrig and Blencathra. And the second is this gnarly old tree that comes out of the side of a rock which you can use to frame up and get quite an interesting shot. But I've shot both of those before and today I feel like doing something a bit different. Now it's about half past seven and I reckon if I head off about eight o'clock then I should miss all of the Easter madness. So that gives me half an hour to try and find something else.
Well, look where we are now. We're back at the jetty. And I was just thinking to myself, I wonder if there's any way of getting a selfie of me stood at the end of it. Now, my 6D only has a 10 second timer and there is no way that I can get from my camera to the end of the jetty in just 10 seconds. So what I've done is I've paired my camera up to my phone and I can use this as a remote shutter release. And there should be just enough range for me to get to the end of the jetty and fire the shot. I very nearly didn't make it to Otterbuild this morning. You see, last week I finished my Lake District Location Guide and so I don't have a project anymore. And without a project, I seem to have lost purpose and without purpose, I've lost a bit of motivation. And so last night I was umming and ahhing about where to go. So really, what I need to do now is to find another project, something to give me purpose, something to drive me forward. Now I've got a few ideas, but if you've got any ideas, leave a comment below and I'll see if there are any good ones. Now remember, I'm based in the Lake District, so ideally it would be Lake District based. Anyway, it's just gone eight o'clock, so it's time I wasn't here. I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.